At some point in everybody's lives, they doubted God's existence. We'd have all wondered if God is actually real and if the stories about him are just myths. Most people even get discouraged and want to quit until he shows himself to them, then their faith becomes stronger. God is real, and do not let anyone tell you otherwise. You should serve him with all your heart, even if it looks foolish, because he notices and cares deeply for all who serve him. Samuel 2.24 But be sure to have respect for the Lord. Serve him faithfully. Do it with all your heart. Think about the great things he has done for you. The best reason to serve God is because we love him and because our primary purpose on earth is to serve God. Using Abraham as a case study, Abraham had many experiences with God that made serving God look foolish, but he did not stop. God told Abraham that he was going to have a son at age. Genesis 17, 15, 19. Then God said to Abraham, As for Sarai your wife, you shall not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name, and I will bless her and also give you a son by her. Then I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations, kings of people shall be from her. Then Abraham fell on his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born to a man who is one hundred years old? And shall Sarah, who is ninety years old, bear a child? And Abraham said to God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before you. Then God said, No, Sarah your wife will bear you a son, and you shall call his name Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his descendants after him. If anyone tells you that a 99-year-old and 100-year-old couple are going to have a son you will probably think the person is stupid, because scientifically it is impossible due to menopause and all that but with God. All things are possible. Abraham believed God and he held on to his word and Isaac was born. After some years, God instructed Abraham to sacrifice Isaac. Genesis 22 1 3. Some time later, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain, I will show you. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and loaded his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about. Every normal person would either ask God why or blatantly refuse to sacrifice their son, who they loved so much, a son that they waited for for so many years, a miracle child. You would probably be wondering why God will bless you with a child and ask you to kill that child with your own hands. But Abraham obeyed God, and when he was about to kill Isaac the angel of God from heaven, called out and said, Do not lay a hand on that boy. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God, because you have not withheld your son, your only son. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Genesis 22 12, 15 to 17. Many humans fear being ridiculed and embarrassed, especially when serving God. Most people are serving God secretly because they are trying to avoid being humiliated and ridiculed by other people. We fear the thought of being embarrassed in the public eye, but we often forget that God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty and the base things of the world, and the things which are despised God has chosen, and the things which are not, to bring to nothing the things that are. What the society might make fun of could be something that is precious in the sight of God. All that matters is that God is happy with you and you are glorifying him. Do not worry about what the society thinks. The truth is most people who stand up for God are often criticized and ridiculed by people and they become an enemy of the world. Even Jesus Christ was ridiculed by men. He was hounded by ridicule, false accusations, and hate throughout his life on earth and he died a humiliating death, even though he was innocent all along. But because he obeyed God 
and still served him with all his heart, he was given the greatest honor. And being found in the form of a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God highly exalted him and gave him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. So, never stop serving God and obeying Him. Abraham followed God up to the point he looked foolish, and if Abraham had stopped, he would have lost every single thing. We should be aware that serving God is a continuous thing, and we should do it with our whole heart regardless of what people think.